Welcome to Baby Boomer Tales. My name is Jim. The title of today's episode is My 29 All-Time Favorite Music Songs, Volume 4. We started this clear back in 2019 and have done it every year since then. You think that you've run out of songs, but there's literally thousands of songs that roll around in a person's head that probably could make a list like this every year. So these are mine. I hope you share some of my taste with me in music. If not, you can just look at me and think, boy, that guy's weird. As I go through these 29, there's no particular order to it at all. Just when I came across one that I thought should be on my list, I would write it down. As the year drags on, my list will fill up. I already have three on my list for next year. So that's just the way it goes. Let me start this with my first one. Will the circle be unbroken? It was an old Christian hymn written in 1907. Mother Maybell Carter made it popular in 1935. Some of the lyrics have changed over the years. The Nitty Gritty Dirt Band is the one I'm featuring, though, today. They seem to do it a lot. We went and saw them a couple years ago, and of course they sang it, I think, maybe at the end of their show, maybe as their encore. Great song. Used to be when I went to bars and stuff, a lot of the bands in the bars would sing this song. It's just one of those timeless things, that's a fact. Number two, Darlin' Be Home Soon. The Love and Spoonful is written by John Sebastian and it was popular in 1967. That's when it was released. Number three, Down to the River to Pray. It was at one time called The Good Old Way, written in 1867. It is an old slave song. My version was sung by Alison Krauss for the movie O Brother Where Art Thou? Great song. Number four on the list, Just My Imagination Running Away With Me, 1971 by The Temptations. Just My Imagination. What a great song. Another one by The Temptations, coming in at number five on our list, My Girl. Remember how that started? I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. What a wonderful song. My Girl was released in 1964. It was The Temptations' first number one single. Number six on our list, You Are So Beautiful, is written by Billy Preston. My version is by Joe Cocker, released in 1974. Number seven, You Say by Lauren Dangle, 2018. I really like her. She was an American Idol contestant and went on to have a great career in contemporary Christian music and this is one of my favorites by her. Number eight, For Once in My Life, Stevie Wonder. They played this at my daughter Allie's wedding as they walked down the aisle after they said I do. Everyone was happy and smiling and snapping pictures and I was crying. Stevie Wonder's version was released in 1968. It was first released in 1966 by Connie Haynes. Number nine, I'm Your Captain, Closer to Home, Grand Funk Railroad, 1970. I'm getting closer to my home. Number 10 on our list, Heard It in a Love Song. This was released in 1977 by the Marshall Tucker Band. Number 11 on our list, by the Turtles, released in 1965, You Baby. Number 12 on our list, by the Turtles, Happy Together, released in 1967. This was their first number one hit. Number 13 on our list of 29 all-time favorite music songs, Volume 4, by the Grateful Dead, from their album American Beauty, released in 1970. Jerry Garcia wrote the music and Robert Hunter wrote the lyrics. Ripple. Number 14. 
written by George Harrison. The Beatles released it in 1969. Our version that we're featuring today was released in 1971 by Richie Havens. Here Comes the Sun. He performed this for three hours at Woodstock. Amazing. I love Richie Havens' version of this song. The Beatles did a fine job, don't get me wrong. Number 15, Buffalo Springfield, For What It's Worth. Released in 1966, written by Stephen Stills. I always thought this was about the peace love movement and all the peace protests going on. Maybe taking a page from Kent State, all that stuff. But it really, he wrote it after the Sunset Strip curfew riot in 1966. I had never heard of the Sunset Strip curfew riot until I started doing a little research on this song. Number 16 on our list. Today I Met the Boy I'm Gonna Marry by Darlene Love. It was featured in the movie Father of the Bride, 1963 that song was released. I love Darlene Love's music. No wonder her last name is Love. Her sound is like no other. Just an amazing few songs that I'm familiar with by that lady. Number 17 by Neil Young, Old Man. Released in 1972. James Taylor played banjo on that song. Linda Ronstadt helped on vocals. I always thought it was about the guy's dad. I always associate it between me and my dad. But in reality, he was singing about a caretaker of an old ranch that he purchased in California. And he just made a song about that old caretaker. Joni Mitchell wrote and released the song Woodstock in 1970. Most people are familiar with the Crosby, Sills, Nash & Young version. Probably the most popular version was by Matthew Southern Comfort. Joni Mitchell. She is a great songwriter. She's still around. I don't know if she writes songs anymore. Speaking of a songwriter, Doug Kershaw wrote Louisiana Man, Connie Smith, The Seekers, Ricky Nelson, and others made it very popular. I love Doug Kershaw's version though, and I don't think it was ever a single. I may be wrong, but what I looked up, it never talked about Kershaw's version on a single. But I owned that album that it was on. It was first released in 1961. Released in 2014 by Sam Smith, the song Stay With Me. It was written by Sam Smith, Tom Petty, and others. If you've never heard this song, it is very, very emotional and very good song. Sam Smith's voice is amazing to me. Downtown, released in 1964 by Petula Clark. If you're lonely, there's a place you can go that never closes. Downtown. Number 22 on our list, Let's Live for Today by the Grassroots, 1967. In 1963, it was recorded in Italian. I like the English version myself since I don't know much Italian. Number 23 in our list today from the album Tea for the Tillerman by Cat Stevens released in 1970. Father and Son. Talk about song reminding you of your dad. This one does too. So many songs out there remind me of my dad for some reason. Not that many remind me of my mom. I don't know why that is, if maybe there are more songwriters that are male that I'm attracted to the songs or what. A lot of these songs sung by the great female artists are written by males anyway, but some of the very, very best songwriters I know of are female. So I'm not saying anything there, I'm just saying that there's a lot of songs seem to remind me of my dad, and this is one of them. That whole album, T for the Tillerman, I really, really liked. When that album was released, I went and saw Cat Stevens. He was in a little bitty music hall, just held several hundred people's all, in Denver. 
It was like no other concert I had ever been to at the time, and it was very, very, very good, I have to admit. Simon and Garfunkel, 1966. This song is off of the Sounds of Silence album. Paul Simon wrote this song. April, Come She Will. Yeah, you know, the boxer and Sounds of Silence and we're all going to look for America, all those things. This is my favorite Simon and Garfunkel song. April, Come She Will. Number 25 on our list, You Are the Sunshine of My Life. Released in 1972 by Stevie Wonder, again. Remember the first time you ever saw him? I remember the first time I saw him. His little Stevie Wonder, and he was on Ed Sullivan. And he's really very young. And, you know, he's blind. And he wore these big black sunglasses, kind of like Ray Charles or something. Playing a harmonica. And I thought, who is this guy? He's so good and energetic. And he really turned into one of my all-time favorite artists. That is for sure. Stevie Wonder. Number 26, from Elton John. And this is the first album I really became familiar with Elton John. The album was called Tumbleweed Connection, and the song was Country Comfort. I went and saw Elton John in Denver. I think it was right after this album, maybe a year or two. And I was shocked. That Tumbleweed Connection almost reminded me of a country album. And here's this flamboyant guy. He's nothing like Hank Williams or George Strait or any of that stuff. What a great album that was. I really like Elton John's music, that is for sure. Number 27 by Kelly Clarkson, Piece by Piece. It was written by Clarkson and Greg Kirsten, 2015. And all I can say about this song is a father should stay. Now, I'm not saying anything if you were raised without a dad or you were a dad that left or any of that stuff. She just puts into music what was in her heart with that experience that she lived through. And I think all she's trying to do is share her story so others don't feel so all alone. Very excellent song. Number 28, What Becomes of the Broken Hearted? 1966, Jimmy Ruffin. Kind of goes along with the theme of the last one. And number 29, da 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 da. I should have some trumpets blowing in the distance. Da 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 da. Maybe I'll put some of those in. I don't know. Probably not. The seasons go round and round. We're captive in a carousel of time. The Circle Game by Joni Mitchell. 1970. I think she captured what life is all about. We're captive in a carousel of time. Enjoy the ride. As hard as it may seem at times, no matter how blessed you have been. Someone said that we're all on the same ship here, and we're not. We're in the same storm, different ships. But when you're on a ship, there's sunny skies and there's stormy seas. Then there's sunny skies again. We're all captive in that carousel. And we all have a choice. I hope you choose to ride it out. Here comes the sun. Let Richie Havens play a little of that for you for three hours. You'll smile. You really will. You can hear our podcast. You can find them at your favorite podcast provider. You can find us at babyboomertells.com. Throughout your journey of life, one of your most important duties are to be kind. It may help someone on their journey, too. I'll be back next Wednesday. Remember to enjoy the music. Peace out. Thank you, Free Sound for the fanfare horn presentation.